Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Fran Oh, Now, we're a tree. We met Palantris. We met the king. We met Sexy Legs. We gave them all voices and let's see if I can remember them. Palantris was my favorite. I hope he comes back. I like talking to him. Uh, your legs ain't as sexy. Hello, sir. Are you a guard? Are you gonna tell me? Yes. Is that all you have to say to me? Mountain Kotram. Do you know where the Mountain Kotram is? Uh, yes. I definitely know about it. Probably. Probably. Can you tell me where it is, maybe? Yes. Then tell me. Mm, the Mountain Kotram is only in wintertime. Wintertime? What are you talking about? Yeah, of course, wintertime. What do you think? I can't wait for winter. Am I just gonna be a tree? Am I gonna plant out for winter? You don't wait for it, you go there. Oh, that's right. Time is the hinge of our reality or something like that. Time is the perspective of our, of our of our environment. I don't remember that. Go? How? Ah, sorry, but I'm no good at explaining things. I'm just a dumb guy. Go down the stairs and that's straight. You found a cockmaker. He can explain things. I'm a bug. I'm a bug guard. Okay. Carrying on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Wait, go right as in from my perspective or your perspective? What do we got here? Oh, it's a map, but I can't read. Hmm. Okay, so that means Thursday. Oh, that's right. In the journal, there was actually a, there, in the journal, there was a word guide. I remember that. Right here. Oh, God. Ahe, pi, I, thi. So they really made an alphabet about this. How did he even get to here? How did this guy do this? I don't even know. Mountain. Cart. Book library. Okay, so I guess I could go over this way, but I don't know. I don't even have my pills anymore. Not that I need pills to make this weird. Very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Has symbols and colors, but doesn't seem to show the time. Time does work differently here, I suppose. Okay, so I need to go find the clockmaker because apparently the clockmaker is going to help me. Hello! I would like to borrow that boat, uh, but I can't because I'm just a tree. And trees don't get what they want. Hello, another bug. Hello! Good day, living creature. All good. What are you doing? No, enough about me. What are you doing? I'm smelling this flower. Beautiful creation. Mm -hmm. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the lemons to grow. Do you like lemons? This is a weird conversation and lemons are sour for my taste. Lemonade is what I will do with lemons for the customers of the bar, you know? And we put some other stuff inside too, so we can fly. <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> I would like to try that. Uh, 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 not for ten-year-old girls, definitely. This is definitely not for children. The bar opened in fall and you will fly when you're older. You should come and hang out though, I suppose. Maybe I will, it sounds fun. It was very obscure and I have no idea what you were talking about, but enjoy that flower. Is it the clockmaker, maybe? Hello? Oh my god, they tore down my family and boarded up this door. It looks like a tropical party place. How does that look like- Oh, it does look like a tropical party place. I was very confused for a second there. Alright, I am very confused as to where I'm going. Is this the mountain that I need? But they said the mountain was only available in winter. This mountain top is very high because it's the top. Good job there, kiddo. Good thing that tree grew your brain strong. All right then, so we gotta find the clockmaker. Oh wait, didn't the guy say go down the path and then go straight? That would make much more sense than going right. I forget things very easily, sorry everybody. Ah, wow, that is a buff route. Hello, buddy. How's it going over here? How you doing? I can't read your prices, so swindle me out of all my money. It's a good day for fabric and thread. I'm at your service. Thank you, but I don't need any at the moment. Hello! And nobody seems to wear clothes around here. Ah, uh, who's there? Who? I'm blind, obviously. Me, Fran, can't you see me? Oh, now, I see a little. You have four eyes. Wow. Yes, four eyes. What are you selling? Only the best plumbers of this entire land. Do you want to smell it? Sure, they look like coconuts. It, it's poo, miss. I, I collect poo. They're not coconuts. It's Plobus's poo. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, all right then. Ah, 
bad. Why, it's very yummy. Try some. It's good. Hee <laughs> hee, I have to get going now. I don't want any of your plobus. Thank you. Okay. Are you sweating? Hi, I'm Fran. How are you? Good day. I'm Pruder, and I'm molding this piece of iron. Ooh, for what? I didn't even know you could get iron around here. I have to deliver a few clock pieces to the clock maker. Oh, I see. So you can do all kinds of metallic stuff. Sure, if you have some ideas, we can talk about them and then put them! I bang it up into a metallic goodness. That's very good to know. Thank you, sir. Well, I have to keep working, you know, plabam on all that thing. I got a lot of plabam in these muscles to work out. But if you need my thermometer, you know where I am. I don't go nowhere. Goodbye. Okay. Well, that sounds clocky. Hello, what are you doing? Hmm, working on my clock. I'm looking for a withered on a mountain. No, miss, I do clocks. I fix clocks. I listen to clocks. Clocks. Nothing but clocks. Mountain? Mountain Coltrum? The mountain Coltrum only exists in winter time. Otherwise, it's just a regular mountain. I can't wait for winter. The king said that the wizard would be on mountain Coltrum. You don't need to wait for winter to come. That's absurd. Time is an infinitely layered reality. Oh, of course. I'm 10. Go to the big clock and change the season. Where is the clock? But I tried. It didn't work. Well, go towards the castle, then turn to your left when you see the stairs. You'll find a big clock on the tree. Good luck. But I already saw that clock, and it was Birkin. A Birkin clock? That's a disgrace. Poor Luke. You have to help me. Please fix it, Mormy. I'm begging you. I've got nothing better to do. I will literally beg here till the end of all the infinitely layered realities of time. I never fix a clock for nothing, otherwise my life's going to pace. You want some poop? I can get you some poop. What do you mean? I charge one big golden coin per clock. Time is gold, you know. I don't have any coins. I'm new here. Then no clock will ever be fixed. Please, sir, as a favor, I need to go home. Golden coin or nothing will be fixed. Well, that's awfully rude. Time will never change unless I get paid. Holding the entire existence for ransom. Good guy you are. Okay, so I gotta find some place to get the coin. Hello, lady. Is there any news? Good day. Would you like to read the newspaper? I can't read. I'm ten. Don't you know? It's called Ethernish. Are you a tourist? Hee <laughs> hee. Yes, I am a tourist. My name is Fran. Oh, I've never seen a tourist before, and I've never seen a Fran either. Welcome to a Thursday. I hope you will have fun here. Thank you so much. I have to go now. Goodbye. Okay, then. I gotta find a coin. Where am I gonna find a coin? You are old. You are young. You are a snail. You've got money. I see it. Ah. Whoa, lots of gold. So, do you want to play a game? I don't even care what you have to say. Good day. I'm gonna just take all your money. What are you doing? The war is about to start, and I can't see meaning in the meaningless. Uh, okay, I'm gonna back away slowly till you make more sense. Join me, young one. You'll be rewarded with one golden coin if you can make it back alive. Okay. Alrighty then. Oh, Kamalus and the Velakis. That's what was going on in the book, The Shadows and the Light. I get it. Okay, I get it. 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 Board game, immersion adventure. I get it. Let's play. I get it. Coin if I win. I, I get it. Oh, God. I got to read the rules. First to place three of the same figures in a diagonal, horizontal, or vertical line wins. Oh, so it's like connect three. Or tic-tac-toe. No, that... <laughs> of course it's tic-tac-toe. Never mind, then. I know what that is. Okay. Time is gold, and I'm very old. I've been around a long time. Okay, let's do this. Let's play. Boy, that was took a while. Okay, what goes first? Wow, it's been a while since I played tic-tac-toe. Let me see if I can remember my strategies before I dive headfirst into this. I'm gonna be here forever. Unless I can go first. Nope, never going first. This is totally fair and balanced. Yeah, okay, I got this. But hey, Bazinga! Bazongo! I got a gold coin! You wanna play more? I'll take all the infinite layered realities of your time. Oh, I can play more. Okay, I'll just play more. Oh, I'm going first for once. 
Hey, hey, I got another gold coin. I'm gonna rob this guy of all his money. Seriously, how much money is he gonna give me? Okay, that's enough. I beat the crap out of a snail. Well done, little creature. You are a master. Whatever. I'm leaving now. I got enough money of your giant pile of gold. I'm gonna give this to the clockmaker. He's gonna be stopped being such a douche. Oh, I still have one? Oh, I thought I was gonna have more than that. Why did I waste so much time beating the crap out of a snail? All right. What that? I haven't fixed any of your clocks. Fix the clock. Oh, but I thought you wanted a coin to fix the clock. Oh, yes, but you have to offer me the job first. Do it and be polite. Oh, sir clockmaker, would you like to fix my clock? In exchange for this piece of gold and in the name of, uh, time, I beg of you, accept my offer. Of course, that was an incredible job offer, very passionate. I'm really weird about things. Great, let's go to the big clock and fix it. Like now would be good. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you are much weirder than I th- Ugh. Ugh. You're all wimbly and weird. Why are you wimbly and weird? Ugh. Okay, then. I'm probably gonna have to go back to the blacksmith so that I can get some stuff. Maybe. You never know. There's a very odd clock. Where are the numbers? Hmm, you were right. This clock is very broken. You can fix it, though, right? Of gold! Just a second. Hang on a second. Good. Yes. Sorry, did you have an experience? I wasn't paying very much attention. What is it? Seems that somebody was playing a dirty game around this clock. What do you mean? Someone was flying with lemonade again. Pfft, scallions. Someone broke it. Immortal breaking a defenseless clock. Why would somebody break it? Tamales, winter, mountain, courtroom, the stones. Many reasons, miss. Oh, what are, you, what are you talking about? I literally don't understand anything that goes on in this world. I am ten. Kamalith, the evil darkness, they work for Remor, the terrible black. I thought you would know this. And Kamalith are the only ones allowed into this land, the only evil we have around. It wouldn't surprise me, Remor wants the stones. And what I don't understand is, for what purpose? Those stones are meaningless to him in his kingdom. And the stones are in winter time. Is Remor a giant black monster with a goat mask? Uh, a dead goat mask? I don't mean to be very specific, I just want to know generally. Is that- could that be him? Yes, you- you've seen him before? You've seen the face of literal death? Yeah, you know, way back when in an insane asylum where I grew up. Or, where I was. I think it's because of him that I'm in this land. I'm a human, you know. Arr, a human. Now I understand. I also need the stones, apparently. They are my way back home, for some reason. Someone told me this, the king, I think. He was a little crazy. Ah, that is not why you need to go into wintertime and go to Mount Gorum with it. Yes, exactly. I have to talk to the great wizard and borrow the stones. The more I talk about this, the crazier it sounds. It sounds completely bonkers. Oh, well, it's fixed now. I banged it with my knobbly knockers. It's good to go. I'll give you something that will make it easy for you. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's a remote control for the clock. Well, that's handy. How did you do that? It looks all clockwork. You'll be able to travel into all four seasons in just a quick turn. But it's a prototype, so it may not work if you're too far away. And remember, time is an infinitely layered reality, so be careful. I'll be careful. Thank you very much. You're a very nice clockmaker guy. Please call me Cogwind. All right, Mr. Cogwind. I'm Fran, by the way. See you soon. Goodbye. I'm going to go time traveling now, apparently. It was almost as irresponsible as Doctor Who was. What happens if I actually use the thing? Oh. Ah. But in winter, I saw shadows. Well, winter is what I need. But I don't know if I need to be around here for winter. Oh, hello. It's the boat. Covered in snow and ice. Ah. 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 Maybe I should be a little more careful about this. And Kitty, maybe you should be a little more careful about standing on the snow as we're traveling through time at a million miles an hour. Okay, so I, apparently the library would be open and now. I'm pretty sure I remember that. Oh my god, everyone's gone. Why is everyone just gone? Nothing changed. Nothing changed. And kablooey! Everyone's gone. I mean, I understand that it's winter, but come on, people. 
Same. Almost same. Hello, who the hell are you? Is that your pet? I thought- Oh, it's a toy, okay. I feel like a person dragging a toy human. Well, I guess people have baby dolls, so that does make sense. I'm just gonna flip through all the times in the different zones, just in case there's something that I actually do need. Alright, you guys keep on working into the wheel hours. I guess I, you know, I, I guess I just don't need to putz around, I go straight to the mountain. Because why else would I need to be there? Ladder? Okay. I don't have any need to climb that ladder, definitely don't. Okay, well. Hello! Who the hell do you think you are? Oh wow, what are you? You look like the fairies in my books. The purest of feelings. The light of all material. We are the Velocus. I'm tired of this douchey voice. I'm just gonna go regular for now on. I'm giving too many voices to too many things. I'll never keep track of it. Oh, you're so very shiny and you make me feel so happy. So very happy. I'm sure that's not just an illusion. You're really evil. Look, creature. One of the young, one of the young Velocus will receive the shield. The shield of what? Why? Oh, I thought that said, oh my god, get back! Oh, seriously, anyway. Female grow! Oh, I'm a grack! So you're getting a shield to protect your face from what exactly? Maybe from a return of the darkness? The Amal- Amal- Malcolm? Soldier of the sun, creature from the soil, fruit from the seed. Let the universe illuminate you with the truth and be free. Alrighty then. Where are you all going? I didn't understand any of that. It's so weird! It's so weird! I was keeping track of everything nice and tidy, but now it's just bizarre. We continue our paths to life. May freedom be with you, my friend. Sir or miss, uh, can you do magical things, and are you real, and where am I, and did my mom and dad really die, and why was I in an insane asylum? The universe is already doing magic all the time. You are full of magic yourself. But I kind of want to know things. I'm tired of being a stupid ten-year-old. I feel like you know everything. We have a light! We are everywhere or something. Whatever will impress you. What are the answers you're looking for? I want to know who killed my parents. And why is that big monster hunting me? Because my theory is that Fran Bo somehow was forced to kill her own parents. Like, that would be the really darkness of it. The truth will come to those who seek it. Your path towards truth is immense. You are living in a world that turns its back to you. You're too fragile to face the truth just now and too strong to let it go. Okay! But... Okay, dear, don't be sad, we have to keep going. Okay. Yes, Kitty, you're right. Oh, dear, you have to- I'm sorry, I missed the chance to do the voice. Okay, so there's gotta be something here- Ah! This moves the arms of Velakis. Okay. Uh, so if I move the arms in a specific pattern, it's going to do something? I don't know what this is, and I don't know how to do it. Okay! I'm unclear. What happens if I change the seasons over here? Because I don't think I could have gotten over here, could I? I am at a loss. Not entirely sure what I'm doing. Okay, I'm gonna go back to winter and I'm gonna go up the mountain, which is the original task that I was set out here for. And frankly, I should have done this. Oh, hi. Well, he was creepy. Hello! Is there a great wizard here? Frankly, I've been wandering around- Hello, you are weird looking. Hi. How are you? Are you the great wizard, sir? Grumble, grumble, grumble. Sorry, sir, I'm Fran, and I need your help. Is this the mountain Cotrim? No one's ever called it by leg. Excuse me, can you talk? Sorry if I'm bugging you. You have too many questions, that's good. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sir, the king told me you could tell me. What the king says we do. Okay, so help me. I need the stones. The stones are missing and I, I don't remember what they are. I'm too busy making lemonade that'll make you fly through the sky. Every time they seek, I hide. Every time I hide, I forget so they can't be found. They? You mean the Black Shadow, sir? Or are you talking about some other experience? I just want to know the biggest answer of them all. How does the rabbit do it? I saw it once. A human did it. The rabbit came from an empty hat. How? Ah, this is the greatest question of them all. Because if nothing exists, then nothing exists. 
But if the nothing exists, then there is no nothing. I wonder again, how? Sir, why don't you ask the person who did it? Oh, I'm the visitor. Good day. What brings you to the Great Withered? That means me, just so you know. I'm the Great Withered. I need the Great Withered. Good day, sir. The king sent me here for the stones. The stones? Ah, it's been a long time since somebody came around asking for them. Should I suspect you be up to evil? I made the most fantastic spell of all time so nobody could find him. Hey, I actually made the most fantastic spell of all time. It made black goop shoot out of these twins' eyes up into the sky, and then they turned into ash and died. You know, the black shadows that come off. Sorry, I was talking about something else for a second there. Though I have to be sure. Let's see. The king told me that the stones would open a door to go home. Mm, the stones are high. I only remember the four riddles that are connected to the stones. A ten-year-old like you might just be the brain that needs to solve them. Four riddles? That will unlock my memory. Only when all four riddles are answered correctly, I will be able to tell you where to find the five items. These items are the stones in the layer of reality. Then, the only one who can bring them back is me. That is a lot of information, sir. So I need four things to find five items to make you remember let me show you okay I'm, I'm so down a pentagram again eh another hunt for a spell this is the star of the thirsta um the great god of the sky is this where i first discovered that they're all like demons from hell and this is like all their happy reality like that south park episode with the happy tree friends yay yay blood orgy yay okay let's not do that the greatest caretaker of this land i forgot what he was talking about oh wow that sounds great sir i think but there's a pentagram on the floor but i mean isn't that not actually a bad symbol that's like a pagan thing i don't know i I'll give you the four riddles written down in the language of everything. The answer is always one item. Okay, place the items on the star of a thirst on their respective symbol. And after that, I'll be able to tell you where the thones are. What? Oh, God. Oh, thank you very much, great wizard. It's just a drawing of his dick. It's like just, oh, thank you. I, I'll go get him right now. Thank you, sir. Oh, Sir Wizard, the king told me that you could make me human again. Did he? Mm, he tells lies. I think it's true, maybe, if I get enough money, you know. Barely remember how to do it. You don't remember, but I can't go home like a tree. I understand, but I can't help you right now. I have to recover some of my knowledge. I'm incredibly stupid. Rather, we can try to make you human again after you find the first phone. Oh, that would be incredible, I think. Yeah, incredible and great, just like me. Now leave my home. Just try to figure the riddle out, and I guess everything will be fine. Sir, do I need something special to become human? But uh, money, lots of money, and spell, smells, spe smells for the spell. Thank you. So bring me your clothes, and we'll see how it goes as the spell goes. Straight up my nose. I don't know. Okay, I'll bring them later. Okay, I think I got it. All right, sir, I'll bring it close. Okay, what the hell is going on with this? There's so much weird shit happening. I'm cold as I am, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. <clears throat> I'm shiny as a sun, but I'll never burn you. Perhaps a sour smile, I'll get you. That's obviously a lemon. Flow, flow, cold-blooded sun. Let your body dance through the rising stream. Ice cube? A river? A frozen river? Light and hollow, I'm the freedom of birds and the pen of men. The sky? The sky? Are you talking about light and, light and hollow, the freedom of birds and the pen of men? Oh, the pen, literally, the feather! Oh, feather, literally the pen of men. I thought you meant like the cage pen. Cold as I am hard, but if you use me, I'll be burning hard. Is that like a coal or something? I don't know, I have no idea. Go to the top of the mountain, I guess. I am so confused. I'm speaking in a lisp now. Hello. Do you have a face? Hi. Whoa. 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 Palantris? What the hell was that? 
Yes, my dear, I saw it. What was it? I, I think it's the shadows. Oh dear, I don't want to see them again. Again? Yes, Kitty, I've been seeing them all over the place. Everywhere and everywhere. We will go soon, soon, my dear. Kitty, can you make me a promise that whatever happens, you and I will always be on the same side? Of course, my dear, I promise. Well, that seems like a weird thing to ask of the kitty. Great, now we have to keep on going. Okie dokie then. Little bizarre. I swear that mountain has a face and I didn't see it before. Okay, so the four things that I need are, once again, I need a coal, a lemon, probably ice, I have no idea. And then, ooh, a feather, I think. This is getting really confusing. I have no idea what's going on. I'm running out of brain steam. Like, literally, I'm running out of brain steam. Okay, so the guy, hello, hi. Okay, so the guy said, there we go, lemons, give me a lemon. I'll take that lemon, thank you very much. Sir, can I take one of your lemons? I promise I'm not stealing them. I'm sorry, lovely. The lemon resources are quite limited. I can't let you take them. I take all the lemons the basket can carry. That means all the lemons from the tree. But maybe not that one. Give me your lemons. Give them to me! Oh, come on, man. I'm gonna steal them from you. I'm gonna take your lemons. I'm gonna steal your lemons. I'm gonna steal your lemons! Hello. Good day, little lady. Can you show me your ticket, please? How do I get one? I don't know. What? All the thirst assistants get a ticket. Why don't you have yours? Oh, I'm not a citizen, sir. Maybe that's why. Not a citizen? That's new. Too new for me, though. Sorry, little lady. I can't let you in. What do I do? I want a ticket. I want to go get a lemon. I don't know. It never happened before. Wow. This, like, there's so many, like, it's sending me on so many tasks here. There's like 10 million things that I got to do. It's so weird. It's, and it's so far removed from what was going on. How about this ticket? Is this good enough? Uh, uh, oh yeah. It's an exterminator. I forgot about that. Okay. So, oh God. Okay. So I got to get a lemon, but I got to do a quest to, hello. Hi. Elantris, there? Okay, bye! I got a feather, though. Wait, don't go. Oh no, he looked really bad, Kitty. Isn't that the doctor? Maybe he can cure himself. I hope so, Kitty. He was so hurt that he lost his feather. His feather's all black, though, but that's the first riddle thing. I guess? I'm so conf- I'm so confused right now. I'm so confused. Maybe you guys can help shed some light on this. Because I think this is the last one I'm gonna record in this session, so... Thank you everybody so much for watching! I really hope you enjoyed this. My mind is just filled with so much what? Like, I have no idea what's going on anymore! It's so weird! I mean, I wanna get down to the bottom of it, but it's like... What was happening? It was down to the scary, and now it's been like the happy I know it's gonna go back, but I mean, it's weird, like, trying to discover all this nature and laws of reality. I don't get it. It's too much information. Okay, so thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Yeah, I'm ready. I already feel the urge. Yeah, I need to be. I'm ready. So the idea is that after we set up all the fences up here, we go down there, hide, and then hopefully lock it.